Welcome back. My name is Kylie Mooncakes at X Mooncakes on Instagram. This is Angela Visalia at Angela Visalia on Instagram. Yay. You can cheer. Yeah. <laughs> that is so nice. Thank you. So, <laughs> at every one of Jenna's little productions, we always have a featured special guest. You just saw her perform. Uh, her name is. Machete! Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Okay, cool. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Look at your little stool. You're so high up. I know. It's like how high up you are on the social economical ladder. I know. Your wife. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I won't challenge you there. <laughs> You're such All a right. Bitch. Let's get this interview with cooking. <laughs> Hello. So much Shetty, yeah. Amy, Miriam. Yeah. Um, so I am very happy to have you as our special guest. I'm happy uh, to have you as my hosts. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that wig, wig. Wow. <laughs> now, now everybody knows I'm not really a villager. <laughs> <laughs> I People still think I'm really Isabel. Yeah. Well, because it's facts. <laughs> it's period. <laughs> it's the motherfucking tea. Shut up, you're so dumb. So my first, yeah, my first question is, in addition to me being happy to have you here, tell us why Smash Bros is so important to you and why you're so excited to be the special guest for a Smash Bros themed show. Oh, I fucking love Smash Bros. Um, it's like, it's legitimately like a big part of my life. Like, like no, honestly, I've, I've been playing like the Smash Bros games for like my entire life. You know, and it's just like a way that I've like bonded with friends, extending back to like my childhood up through my teenage years into my young adulthood up until today, you know? And I just, uh, I really like Nintendo. Nintendo games have a lot of cute friends and buddies. Lots of, lots of nice, lots of nice pals to interact with, such as, such as Pikachu and Isabel, you know? It's like, how can you not love them, you know? I, yeah. No, it's just fun fucking games, and it's like some, it's like something that like basically everyone's played, and you can like teach people to play it really quickly, have little parties. I just fucking love Smash, yeah. And so when you, oh, I forget if it if it was one of you two or Jenna that initially like asked me, but I was like Sarah Michelle Gellar or no, Sarah, Sarah Jessica Parker. I had to have it um, when you when I was offered the guest spot. <laughs> Not Sarah Michelle Gellar. I wasn't like her at all. Other than her coke habit. Just kidding. I didn't do that. Wow. Cruel intentions. Yes. A lot to unpack. Yeah. I know. <laughs> no, but that's legit. I really don't do coke that often, you guys. Like, just so you know. <laughs> I've never like bought it. It's like if someone offers me, I'm not gonna be like no, but you know. <laughs> okay. I've never like oh I really need coke. Like I'm just saying. Like there's a lot to unpack there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, but you were one of the first people I thought of when I was like kerning the cast. Um, Cause you. <laughs> Because you literally host like Smash Bros party at your, your place. You were there. The day Smash Bros Ultimate came out, I had a bunch of people over and we, we played that game. You two were both there. You were the high, you forgot that memory we made? We were high as fuck, I want to say that. T, you were. Yeah. <laughs> what are your upcoming projects that you're excited for though? Like tell us about you, what do you do? What do I do? Okay, well, you know, um, I only do drag for the clout. Um, that's actually true. I literally started doing drag because I, I did music for two years, and I was like, why do gay people in Seattle still not care about me? And then I was like, oh, if I just put on a wig and lip sync to a song, suddenly everyone will know who I am. That's so dumb. Um, but yeah. <laughs> So I started doing drag. I was like, I'm just gonna get involved in the drag community because these fucking faggots need to know about me. And then now they do. And so now they do. And yeah, so I, but, but also I started enjoying drag after I started doing it. I was like, wait, this is actually fun. Um, yeah, well, I do enjoy it. I'm having fun right now. Um, so yeah, I do drag and I, I make music. Um, I'm playing Cap Hill Block Party. That's gonna be cool. Um, I just put out a music video that you're in. Oh my god, what's Whoa! it called? It's, so called it's called Touch It. Yes! 
Yes. Yes. I'm in it? The T. That's fucking wild. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. If you haven't if you haven't seen the music video for Touch It by Machete, um it stars Kylie Mooncakes and Machete and a, and a host of other local talents and it's very good. Like it's not an I can say artist. it's very good. Like it is. It's the best thing I've ever made. I've made fifteen music videos and it's like the first one where I'm like, wow, she's serving budget. The first yeah. It's like, yeah, it's, it's good. Yeah, it's like actually like good. It's like a pop star moment. Word. Uh huh. Speaking of pop stars, what are like your influences? Like who makes you machete? Like oh. Well, like in high school, Lady Gaga saved my life. Um, <laughs> that's not a joke. It's true. <laughs> I wish I wish I wasn't such a cliche, but I am. Um, but yeah, no, I uh, like fucking. I grew up listening to like Lady Gaga and Nicki Minaj and Britney Spears and fucking, yes. you know, all the girls. Yes. White women. No, not just white women. <laughs> Khalees. <laughs> you know about Khalees, Angela? You're flesh tone, bitch. You took my heartbeat for me. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like Rihanna and Beyonce and uh, fucking, fucking Fergie. Fucking <laughs> the girls. You the heard girls. you heard Ponder replay and you were just like, oh yeah. In many ways I was. Sometimes the lyrics were just too deep. I have to stop recording. <laughs> Peaches is also a big influence. Yeah. Yeah, that's a huge one for me. Uh, oh and Kesha. She's she's a big deal. Yes. The yes. Time, huh? Yeah. Tell us how the album Rainbow has impacted you socioculturally. <laughs> oh, you already know because we talked about this. The al- no, the Ram- Kesha's album Rainbow like has uh, has been critical to enduring the Trump administration for me. <laughs> um, it's a very healing album, isn't it not? It's like very positive. It makes you feel like, oh, maybe I should be alive. Is it because you feel like you shouldn't be healing from lemonade because it's not your place? <laughs> <laughs> Call her out. Um, <laughs> That's your healing album. For you, time what, 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 here's the thing. I think Lemonade is an objectively great piece of work. Every time I listen to it, I'm just like, I just get mad at Jay Z. No. Yes. Every every time I, I just get to... mad. I'm like, yeah, how, yeah. I'm like, what, what? Like, you could be the most perfect woman on earth, and people will still just cheat on you. Like, what the fuck? No. <laughs> like, it's not cool. It makes me really mad, honestly. Rich men can get away with anything. That is the truth. Which brings me back to our point. About how we should kill Jeff Bezos? So, I I fully, as a villager, guillotines are very good, I just want to say. I think we should, um, you know where, um, is that Tortimus, his name, the mayor who asked you who you respect? His name is Tortimer, his name is Tortimer. His voice is like, (laughs) he will oversee the hanging. Yeah. Um, but what I was circling back around to is how do you gripe with your uh, hatred for men's lust for power and your attraction to Bowser? <laughs> oh, what that kind of Okay. Um, here's the thing about I. I mean, I think Bowser. I agree with what was said earlier. I don't think he's oppressive. I think he kind of he's he's a bad boy. Yeah, he's just a bad boy. And I mean, the thing is like. If he was really that harmful, like, they wouldn't be inviting him to, like, the tennis matches. <laughs> if he was, like, that much of a threat, they wouldn't be like, do you want to race with us later? Like, I'm just saying, like, Link, every, Link doesn't play water polo with Ganondorf because that man's actually evil, you know? Like, Bowser, <laughs> Bowser's chill. Everybody forgets about the Mario cookout game. Yeah. <laughs> Bowser is hot though. I do want to say I'm not a furry. I just, um, I just want to clarify that I'm really not. I just like maybe you don't get this because you're not trans, but I like see people for who they are, you know. And I just like, you know, like. So it's like I can look at someone like Bowser or like King DDD, and I, I don't care that I don't care that he's a penguin. I just think, I just think he's hot. And, and I'm just like, hey, Mabs, let me hear you make some noise. Yeah. King DDD is what we in the business call dummy thick. Oh no, I, I get it. Um, <laughs> this is the stupidest thing I've ever done. <laughs> what else? Do, do we need to do we need to cut this off, or can we keep going? Are we have okay. a little bit. Okay, okay. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna continue to stay on trend with Smash Bros. I love uh, I love a theme. Yeah, I'm, I'm very well versed in Smash Bros. Um, so when it comes to the characters and the gameplay, yes. and the stages, 
Yes. Um, what is your closing statement on the matter? <laughs> oh, my closing statement is, um, oh shit. What if we kiss behind Peach's <laughs> yeah. That's my closing statement. Anything else? We smash in. <laughs> um, who do you mean? I'm sorry. Oh, I mean Isabel. Ooh, you better. Yeah. Yeah, no. Oh, that's the thing I should explain. I know I'm Zero Suit Samus in like the promo art for this. Um, cause when, cause when we were first, cause I didn't realize that we had to do like characters and then I was like, shit. I was like, well, I'm blonde and I have bangs and I have ponytails, so I should just be Samus. Um, but then I was like, oh wait, Isabel has bangs too. And she's blonde and I like her a lot more. Um, and then, so I switched up at the last minute and I, I told them that and then they were like, oh, well the art's already been made. And I was like, well, they're gonna get what they get because I don't want to buy a, a, a spandex cat suit or, or ask Cookie for hers. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't want to ask. I'd rather just put together my own Isabel look. But no, I mean Isabel. Um, I, play, uh, I play Ike a fair bit. I play Sheik a little bit. I kind of play a lot of people. Pac-Man, Villager. Yeah, yeah. Excited to see Banjo-Kazooie when they add those Woo! friends. Um, yes. <laughs> what are you so? What are you, what's your mouth that gave Stun. Stun. <laughs> I just think you're so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know. I, I love you because you're stupid and harmless, though. No, Thank you. I can listen to you talk all day. That's like what I want to be in life is stupid but harmless. <laughs> like, oh, she's find stupid you? but harmless. Okay. Um, <laughs> Uh, wait, where can people find me? Oh, my Instagram is nice. at Michette Music, M-I-C-H-E-T-E, -E, like your good friend Mich Michelle with a T instead of an L, or Machete with an I instead of an A. Um, yeah, it's Machete Music, it's verified, there's a blue check mark next to it. Yeah. I know, I know, the cloud of it all. Um, my Twitter is at Machete, that's where I'm the most unhinged, that's where I spiral the most often. That's so stupid. Yeah, that's where, that's where you, you experience like the full gamut of my emotions, because I don't have a therapist. Um, wow. Yeah, that's where you can find me. Or just go YouTube, just search Machete, and there's, like, like, like I said, there's 15 music videos for you to go look at. Including Touch It. Including Touch It, which starts playing new things. T, T. Yes. Thanks for being here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all for being here.